In 2013, the DSM-5 was released, which changed how autism is listed and the treatment. Separate disorders such as Asperger's, Rett's syndrome, and autism were now combined to create what is known as the autism spectrum and this spectrum has three levels, mild, moderate, and severe. The difference between the levels has to do with the level of support needed for the individual on the spectrum. The autism diagnosis involves a huge range. Um, I have had children with autism who have been very severe, who are nonverbal, um, very severe sensory issues, to the children with autism who are extremely high functioning. So there is a wide range to autism. In 2016, the prevalence rate for autism was 1 in 69. As of 2018, the rate for autism is 1 in 59, though some research shows that it may actually be closer to 1 in 40. And boys are four times more likely to be diagnosed than girls. Okay. Okay. So, you have autism, right? Yes. What does autism mean to you? If somebody asked you about it, what would you tell them? Ask my mother about that. It means no, it's a part of me, that. and it's not something you cure. It's something you deal with every day, and it's really stressful on both the families and the person in question. It's a lifelong thing with lots of stigmas and misconceptions. My mom really helps me with social stories as we call them so she tells me like what to expect before something could happen, what could go wrong, what could go right, how to handle it and that helps a lot. The prevalence for autism continues to rise, but so does the awareness. However, there is still a lot to be done for the autistic community to help people to realize that they are not completely nonverbal or walking around like Rain Man counting cards. There is so much more that goes into the autism diagnosis, and hopefully we can help people to see the real side of autism.